Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you for all your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are currently growing our team and are looking to talk to 360 degree tech recruiters that want a more flexible autonomous role. In the description box there is a link to more information. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and news. Below is also a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows on GDPR and social privacy with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And this week we have the special guest, Katrina Dow, who is the founder of Miko. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week, Google has showed off its artificial intelligence human voice calling feature. The so-called duplex feature of the Google Assistant was shown calling a hair salon to book a woman's haircut and ring a restaurant to try to book a table, only to be told it did not accept bookings for less than five people. The voice system deployed human sounding vocal cues such as erms and ahs to make the conversation AI experience more comfortable. The voices Google used for the AI in the demo were not synthesized robotic tones but distinctly human sounding in both the female and male flavors it showcased. Dr. Thomas King, a researcher at the Oxford Internet Institute's Digital Ethnics Lab said, Google's experiments do appear to have been designed to deceive because their main hypothesis was, can you distinguish this from a real person? There should be some kind of mechanism there to let people know what it is they are speaking to. This week sees Nutanix Beam giving enterprises control of the cloud. Nutanix's recently acquired Minjar Botnetic service, which is already used to manage more than one billion US dollars of cloud spend across AWS and Microsoft Azure. Essentially, Beam can advise businesses if they are wasting money and resources on services and applications that shouldn't belong in the public cloud to help prevent the runaway costs. Gartner has predicted that the Australian public cloud spend will hit 4.6 billion Australian dollars in 2018. This could potentially save Australian organisations millions on cloud spend. According to Gartner, achieving governance with cloud computing can be a daunting task. The nature of cloud services natively encourages users to go directly to the public cloud, resulting in cloud projects that IT may not be even aware exist. For businesses adopting hybrid cloud architectures, this creates an unenviable scenario managing IT costs and security across third-party cloud deployments. This week sees Ping Identity appoint X Fortinet Jeffrey Andrews as the ANZ Regional Director. During the past 12 months, Ping Identity has increased its staff base in Australia and is experiencing significant growth in sales from public and private sector customers across both Australia and New Zealand. Andrews joins Ping Identity with more than 20 years of sales management and leadership experience in the IT industry, during which time he has created market-leading sales initiatives for both locally based and regional multinational cybersecurity, telecommunications and IT vendor organizations. Previously, Andrews was a regional sales manager at Fortinet, where he was responsible for sales among enterprise and public sector organizations for Fortinet's secure wireless access products. Ping Identity Field Operations Senior Vice President Dave Packer said, Jeffrey is a dynamic leader with deep knowledge of the Australian and New Zealand markets and is highly experienced in creating strategies designed to support industry leading sales and customer initiatives. Congratulations Jeffrey. This week sees Melbourne cloud startup Signfa raise 5 million Australian dollars in the regal led round of funding. Signfer was founded in 2011 by second-time entrepreneurs Con Nikolazakis and Chris Zykos and has a product that lets customers like Telstra and 7-Eleven monitor traffic on their networks, giving them real-time insights into their online usage and enabling them to optimize their performance. In the next 12 months, it is focused on establishing itself in the US as well as setting up relationships with channel partners such as major telcos and managed service providers. Congratulations, guys. 
I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook and Twitter and also Instagram. And you can check out the shows with David Linthicum and our podcast in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.